I'm going to go ahead and do the installation on the Elego Mars print head. You want to make sure that you've used alcohol and clean the bottom of the build plate very well so there's no resin left and it's very dry. You don't want alcohol on there. Uh, for the Elego Mars, it's the 135 by 75 kit. I've already opened this, but this is the double wham. You can have a look at the contents. In this bag, you'll find your instructions, some stickers, and a piece of 400 grit sandpaper you could use to refresh your flexi plates at any time. And in the envelope, you'll find two flexi plates if it's the double wham, if it's the regular FSB R, it's a single plate and a very thick and strong magnet. So the first thing we want to do is peel back about 30, 30 millimeters of the backing paper an inch or so so that we can get this thing to line up. Position it on your build plate. Have a look that the position is correct before pushing it down. Once so you've got it correct, push down that lead edge. Burnish it down. Lift up and start to peel the magnet, the, the backing paper from the 3M glue, sorry, on the magnet. And you can see I'm just pushing from the center outward. I don't want any bubbles. It'll usually lay pretty flat because it's a very thick and heavy magnet. I had a slight bit off center. If that happens, I wouldn't worry. I just trim the excess so you don't have any overhang. Okay, trim. I'm just being careful, of course, not to cut my hands. I'm just aligning the cutter knife with the metal plate. There we go. Taking off the corners. One of the reasons to trim the magnet, of course, is so that when you are peeling up the flexi plate, you don't want to be able to lift the magnet off of the base. Oh, it's pretty good. So I'm going to let that cure overnight and we'll put it to the test. On the Elegoo Mars, our Z limit switch is actually back here. It's an optical switch which gets tripped by a small flange right here. You can actually unscrew those two screws and put a spacer between the flange and the build head to get your 2.6 extra millimeters. So this is the Elegoo Mars flange. You can see the little tang that trips the optical uh, sensor on the Z-limit. And here you can see is 2.58, 2.6. This is my 3D printed spacer. I'm going to just mount it right there and screw it back onto the machine. So I've installed the new spacer on my Elegoo Mars. Um, spacer of 2.6 millimeters thick has been put underneath the Z limit switch um, tripper or interceptor plate. So that's in place. I'm now going to install my completed build head and I'll level the machine as you normally would. ahead and test this out. So we're ready to print. Okay, I've got the Wham Bam Flexible Build System installed on the Elegoo Mars. 
And one thing I do recommend that you do is um, go ahead one time and home the machine once you have the vat on. Just to be sure that it all clears your vat, especially the little pull tab. There's usually quite a bit of abundant space, but you want to make sure you position the vat the right way, that there's no interference. Once that I verify that, I'll go ahead and start a print, and we'll come back when the print's done and have a look. There you go. Start a print, and we'll be back. Okay, got a print just finished up here on my Elgo Mars. Cover and printed it with Soraya Tech Fast. So we're going to take that off. This model has a bunch of supports. I'm going to see how that performs. The individual supports tend to stick a lot more than a large surface area because um, they flex with the bed. So they don't want to pop off as easily sometimes you have to give it a little hand with a plastic scraper we'll test it out right now and okay here we are with our print on the flexible build system to remove it all i do is pry the lift tab comes right off magnets clean there's some resin on the rest so i'll be washing this off and getting it back into service by the way if you've got a double wham you put your other Flexi plate right back on there and go back to print. Um, we're going to try to remove this one. I'll first try by flexing. We'll see how much of this pops off. We might need, as I stated, a little help from a plastic scraper because those small supports tend to want to stick. Um, that came off very easily. I actually made the support bases larger so that I have a bigger area that wants to pop off. That was just so sweet. I'll be pulling off these supports with a little bit of cure and I'll be dropping them in my ultrasonic with uh, Monocure's resin rinse. By the way, it's also possible, of course, to drop your whole flexi plate with the builded part on it into your bath for washing and even cure on it if you like. I'll do that sometimes when I have some very fine and delicate parts that I don't want to warp.